So today I'll be showing you how to take screenshots on iOS 26. So it's a bit different, but the method of taking the actual screenshot is still volume up and power. So press once and this time you get full screen thumbnails or full thumbnails or full previews. You can still crop your screenshots like that, but then you have some more options. Okay. Now at the top here, we have the usual options of this check mark where you can save to photos or save to files or quick notes, or you can even copy and delete or just delete the screenshot. Then you have the share option that's normal. And then you have the markup tool. So this time it's a bit more accessible and you can do quick markups on your screenshots. You can change colors and whatnot and do any markup you want. Now at the bottom is where it's kicking off. So at the bottom here, you have a couple of things. So you have, you have ask. So if you tap on that, it says tapping that asks GPT for more information by capturing and sending what's in view. So let's tap on continue and let's ask chat GPT. What do you see? And it says this is screen shows a collection of mobile apps, including Spotify, Steam, Step Up, uh, Strava, and all that. Telegram showing 14,700 messages. Was that Telegram, really? Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's actually Telegram. So, and then at the bottom here, you have translate. So in case you've taken a screenshot of anything that's in a different language, then you can tap on translate and it's always going to translate for you in your language. And then of course you have search where you can basically just circle to search stuff. You can see when you tap on it, it basically goes to the internet and looks for other things that look like the screenshot you just took. So if you take a screenshot of a product on a page, take the screenshot and then tap on search, it can give you more information about that product by just Googling that image using reverse image search. So that is the new screenshot function on iOS 26, right? Now, of course, you can go into settings and go back to the default uh, screenshot method. So for instance, if you go into settings and then go to general, you should see there's a dedicated settings for screen capture. So you can tap on that and then you can turn full screen previews off and then once you do that, you'll have the normal thumbnails that you used to have. Okay, so the ones with the thumbnail in the bottom left corner, take a screenshot and then it gets saved. That's if you want to go back to the classic thumbnails, I mean the classic screenshots. And then you have the automatic visual lookup, which you can turn off. And then also you have CarPlay screenshots. So if you want to take a screenshot of Car Apple CarPlay, you can turn this on. And anytime you're connected to CarPlay, if you take a screenshot on your phone, it's going to take two screenshots, one of your phone and one of your CarPlay or your car radio's screen. And then, of course, you can choose to have HDR screenshots or just keep them at standard definition. So that is everything you need to know about the new screenshots on iOS 26. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, talk to us in the comment section. Good luck.